hello welcome to kumaris kids channel how are you guys doing today i hope everyone is good okay today's story is going to be about cinderella i hope you guys know about cinderella story don't you okay let me read it to you again once upon a time, there was a young girl who lived with a father, stepmother, and two stepsisters. The stepmother was unkind and the stepsisters were mean. They made the girl do all the housework, eat scraps, and sleep by the fireplace among the cinders and ashes. Because she was always covered with cinders, they named her Cinderella. One morning, a special invitation arrived. All the young women in the kingdom were invited to a royal ball. A royal ball for the prince to choose a bride. Cinderella longed to go, but her stepsisters just laughed. You go to the ball? In those ranks? How ridiculous! They cackled. Instead, Cinderella had to rush around helping her stepsisters get ready for the bar. As they left for the palace, Cinderella sat beside the fireplace and wept. I wish I could go to the ball, she cried. Suddenly, a sparkle of light filled the dull kitchen and there was a fairy. Don't be afraid, my dear, she said. I am your fairy godmother, and you shall go to the ball. But how, said Cinderella, find me a big pumpkin, four white mice, and a rat, replied the fairy godmother. Cinderella found everything as quickly as she could. The fairy godmother waved her wand and the pumpkin changed into a magnificent golden coach. The white mice became white horses and the rat became a coachman. With one last gentle tap of her wand, the fairy godmother changed Cinderella's dusty dress into a simmering ball gown. On her, on her feet were two sparkling glass slippers. Now off you go, said the fairy godmother. But remember, all this will vanish at midnight, so make sure you are home by then. Cinderella climbed into the coach and it whisked her way to the palace. Everyone was enchant enchanted by the lovely stranger, especially the prince, who danced with her all evening. As Cinderella rolled around the room in his arms, she felt so happy that she completely forgot her fairy godmother's warning. Suddenly, she heard the clock strike midnight. Bong, bong, bong. Cinderella picked up, picked up her skirt and fled from the ballroom. The worried prince ran after her. Bong, bong, bong. She ran down the palace steps, losing her glass slipper on the way, but she didn't. Dare stop. Bong, bong, bong. Cinderella jumped into the coach and it drove off before he could stop her. Bong, bong, bong. On the final stroke of midnight, Cinderella found herself sitting on the road beside a pumpkin. Four white mice and a black rat. She was dressed in rags and had only a single glass slipper left from her magical 
evening. At the palace, the prince saw something twinkling on the steps, a single glass sleeper. I wish I will marry the woman who f- whose foot fits the glass sleeper, he declared. The next day, the prince took the glass sleepers and visited every house in the kingdom. At last, the prince came to Cinderella's house. Her stepsisters tried and tried to squeeze their huge food into the delicate sleeper. But no matter what they did, they could not get the sleeper to fit. Cinderella watched as they scrubbed the floor. May I try, please? she asked. You didn't even go to the ball, laughed the elder stepsister. Everyone may try, said the prince, as he held out sparkling sleeper, and suddenly, oh, gaps the stepsisters, as Cinderella's dainty food slipped easily into it. The prince joyfully took Cinderella in his arms. Will you marry me? he asked. I will, Cinderella said, much to the disgust of her stepmother and stepsisters. Soon, Cinderella and the prince were married. They lived long, happy lives together, and Cinderella's stepmother and stepdaughters had to do their own cleaning and never went to a royal ball again. Okay, that's the end of Cinderella story. I will see you guys in the next storytelling. Bye.